Before learning any pieces, it is important to first have an instrument in its proper tuning. The guqin is special in the sense that instead of practicing different scales, you practice different ways of tuning the instrument so that you can change to different modes. Usually, there is something called standard tuning that we use, and uh, the first tone of the scale is located on the open string of the third string, which sounds something like this. This instrument is uh, tuned most of the time using relative scale. Now, what that means is that uh, you tune the instrument by first setting out a certain string and a certain pitch as the standard, and then you tune the rest of the strings accordingly to this string, to the standard string. In order to tune, most of the time we use harmonic tuning. Now what that means is first, we set out a standard string for, uh, that could be for example, the tightest string that uh, you've got, or uh, using the uh, third string or the fifth string as the standard. Now uh, you can use, for example, a tuner and set at uh, A440 and then tune the uh, fifth string with, uh, with this. So uh, the fifth string is usually what we write on the score as A, but most of the time the instrument cannot actually withstand that kind of tension to go up to uh, a modern 440A. So what we do is uh, just pull up the string as far as uh, we would like to go and then uh, set a pitch to it. Let's say we take this pitch as our A. Now we uh, tune it by uh, two sets of harmonics. Now uh, I'll call one set set A and the other set B. Set A involves the seventh position, which is right in the middle of the instrument, along with uh, the thirds of the instrument, which is either position five or position nine. Set B involves either position five or nine, as I just mentioned, with uh, position four or position 10, which are the quarter lengths of the instrument. So you have uh, five and seven, or seven to nine as set A, and you have four and five, or nine and 10 as set B. Now, how does that work? For example, we said that uh, the fifth string will be our standard string. If we use set A, then what we do is uh, we go up or down three strings. So for example, we can't go down on string five here, three strings, because there is no string here, there's no string eight. So what we do is go up to string two. And then uh, we compare that by taking these two strings and have the upper string, meaning the string that's further away from you, at uh, the third positions, which are uh, position five or position nine, and then we take the lower string on the half position, which is always position 7. So, and then we compare it by using harmonics. So what we do is play a tiao on string 5 on position 7, and then a second string on uh, the fifth position, which ends up something like this. Now, if you're already uh, ear trained, to uh, be tone savvy, then try to compare to see if they are the same pitch and uh, be certain that they don't have this wobbly wah 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 sound to it. If you're not familiar with uh, ear training, what you can do is intentionally uh, listen to see if they sound exactly like this. They should be at the exact same pitch. If it is not, it should sound something like this. If that wasn't clear to you, you can try intentionally loosening or uh, tightening the uh, string that you want to tune more, and then uh, in intentionally make it sound different so that you can hear it. 
Now you can obviously hear that the second string, which is the string that we want to attune with the fifth string as the standard, now is obviously lower. If we can hear that it's obviously lower, what we can do is pluck it again, and while it is still vibrating, adjust it so that the vibrations sound the same as the standard uh, string. Now it's too high. So you lose it a bit more. And now we finish tuning the second string using the fifth string. Now, this is called tuning with set A. And uh, to tune using set B, it involves using a string that is two strings uh, further or closer to you. So, two strings apart. So, for this, since we just tuned the second string, now we can use the fourth, we can tune the fourth string using the second string. That sounds about right. Now, uh, for every tuning, there will always be one or two sets of uh, strings on set B that will not match. So for standard tuning, string 3 and string 5 do not match. This is normal because of uh, the system that the uh, Guqin's is actually built on. And that is further explained in an essay found in my textbook. To fine-tune, in other words, if you hear this wah 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 wobbling sound, here's what you can do to actually uh, fine-tune the strings. First, you can try pulling or pushing on the uh, knot which is found on the bridge. Second, push down on the string so that it actually pulls the string forward. This will loosen the string. When you are done, the standard tuning should sound like this. <laughs> 